Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to be doing another shape, number shape. We are going to do a pyramid. Uh, so we've done a triangle where it starts on the edge and goes down. Then we've done what I think I dubbed it a reverse triangle where it has spaces proceeding. Now we're going to do a pyramid where we're going to come, we're going to have it go evenly distributed where the numbers are right down the the height. So let's just get started. So this is going to be a little bit different than both of those. And we're just going to do should have called that like height or something, but we're not going to get too creative. So uh, let's just get started where we're going to have this go down. So let's think about this. It's going to go the same way. We're going to we need spaces in here first. So let's see. That's going to be very similar to our last one. So we'll just type that up. It's going to be space times our i comma in. So we can see these. Let's put this as an asterisk. We're just going to increment this one at a time. We're going to use the stars right now so we can see it. Let's just do five. Let's see where we are. See how close I am. All right. So I got my. I got a whole bunch of stars there, don't I? And that's not really one. Oh, yeah. That should be what over and over and over again. So let's start breaking this thing up. So, all right, let's get started. So now H I I J, let's just use J uh, for J and range. My goodness. All right. X plus one minus I and I'll go over that in a second. Print J and right, and then I need this to bump out to get my new line. Let's check it. Let's see where we are. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I'm upside down. So let's flip this. All right. We're upside down, right? So let's look at this. What's my problem? Forgot one important step. Minus one. This is my this is my setup right here. Here's my this is my master control. Boom. So now that I have my spaces right, let's just get rid of this. So there we go. And do we want this to be zero or do we do one at one? Your preference. I was looking at this. Let's let's separate this so you can see it. We're doing that because this is inclusive. So now we need to come down and we need to do the back side, and that's going to go right here. Or K in range. I can type. Uh, let's see. So where we're we gonna leave off? We need to do in reverse, right? So where would that be? So how do we do that? It's gonna be just like this. So this is not gonna be anywhere close to being right. But we're gonna just start and we're gonna play with it. And K and. All right, so nowhere near right. So I'm slapping numbers, so I need to subtract. What do I need to subtract? I or J from this? Let's just start with J, see how close we are. Nope, not J. OK, 
because that's 5 so it must be I because that's my starting point that's my starting point so it needs to be so I need to subtract my I from it now let's check it oh I'm getting close I need to take one more number off of it so how would I do that bingo there we go and if we look down we put a 5 so that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's how we do it. So let's check. Ooh. Ramid. Let's do 10. Let's copy this. Let's change that to 8. run these so I have pyramid of 10 pyramid of 5 and a pyramid of 8 so that is how we do that and here's the nice little snippet of code with three little for loops so thanks for watching hoping you guys are getting something out of it don't forget to leave any comments and don't forget to click the subscribe button thanks see you next time guys